It quickly became clear to Jill Shardine, the Nashville man she'd started dating liked to send selfies. He sends a lot of coffee drinking pictures of him on his balcony. He's successful. He lives in this amazing condo. He has this business. Soon, the Kentucky single mom was smitten with Todd Dean. But it turns out, so was Carla Lawson in Seattle. He's very, very charming in the beginning. And Donna McMillan in San Diego. He gets you to buy into his dream. And Missy Russell in Ketchum, Indiana. And Karen Alpert in Long Island, New York. He sent a lot of pictures, a lot of selfies. When you uh, come to Nashville, I'll be, a, I'll be your personal tour guide. All women who say Dean, who describes himself on LinkedIn as a proven visionary and entrepreneur, the CEO of Nashville Sanjara Wellness, not only stole their heart. How much does he still owe you? It's tens of thousands of dollars. In some cases, it started small. Several of the women kept their messages from Dean. Quote, would you by chance have any extra money? I've been in survival mode for some time. I have to come up with $3,500 to absolute necessary needs. Listen to this message one of the women received. If you like, send me $25. And they did. You can see payments over and over and over again to Todd Dean. I kind of explain it like an addiction. It, no one else can understand it unless they've been in a situation like this. Shardine and another woman are suing Dean in Chancery Court. Ultimately, how much did you give him? 25000 The other woman, who did not want to do an interview, but confirmed she was once in a relationship with Dean, wrote in her lawsuit that she loaned him $50,000 that he never repaid. Claiming in the lawsuit, I believe there to be 25 or more individuals that are in a similar position as myself. Karen Alpert, who says she started dating Dean in 2017, won a judgment against him for more than $25,000. She says none of it has been paid back. I am sure I have never despised another human being on this planet as much as I despise Todd Dean. Despite what Dean writes on LinkedIn, this lawsuit claims he does not have employment and no steady stream of income. These women believe he made his money off their relationships. His main job, I think, is just to lure women. I actually called the FBI at one point because I was feeling like this was a Ponzi scheme. I think he's he learned early on how to manipulate women for money, so he decided to make a living that way. Can he make a living off of doing this? Oh, he absolutely is. After WSMV4 Investigates called and texted Dean for days with no response, we went to his high-rise condo in downtown Nashville. I haven't seen him. The security guard called his condo, but he didn't respond. All we could find was the promissory notes he signed for some of the money he'd been loaned. Money, these women say, that's funding his lifestyle that he loves to document and share. So much that they've given him a nickname. The selfie scammer. Jeremy Finley, WSMV4 Investigates.